graph y equals negative the quantity x plus 1 squared plus 4, and label the vertex, the y-intercept, and any x-intercepts. Looking at this equation, the first thing we note is that the a value is negative 1, the h value is negative 1, and the k value is 4. Since it is a quadratic function, I know that the graph is going to be a parabola. And more importantly, since a is negative 1, I know that it's a parabola opening downward. So the general shape of this curve will look like this. Moreover, because of the translations, a horizontal translation one unit to the left and a vertical translation four units up, I know the vertex. The vertex is going to be the point negative one comma four. Now that we know the vertex, let's find the y-intercepts and the x-intercepts. The y-intercept, we let x equal zero. So y equals negative 0 plus 1 squared plus 4. 1 squared is 1, but with the negative out front leaves us with negative 1 plus 4. So y is equal to 3. So the y-intercept is 0 comma 3. Let's now move on to the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we're going to let y equal 0. 0 equals negative x plus 1 squared plus 4. Let's add this variable term to both sides of the equation. In doing so, we end up with x plus 1 squared equals 4. And now we need to solve this quadratic equation for x. Taking the square root of both sides, we get x plus 1 equals the square root of 4, and don't forget the plus or minus out in front of that square root. The square root of 4 is 2, so we have plus or minus 2 on the right-hand side and x plus 1 on the left. And to solve for x, we subtract 1 to both sides. x equals negative 1 plus or minus 2. Now recall that there's two solutions here. The first is x equals negative 1 plus 2. Well, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So our first x-intercept is 1 comma 0. Our second is when negative 1 minus 2. So our second x-intercept is the point negative 3 comma 0 because negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Now we have all the important information, we could plot these points. First, the vertex. Negative 1, 4. The y-intercept, 0, 3. And the x-intercepts, 1, 0. And negative 3, 0. We know it's a parabola opening downward. And so our graph takes this U-shape pointing downward. 